Coming up next, we got a couple recipes. Sure to please. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rhonda Fitterer. And I'm Liver and Dee. And today we have a couple submitted recipes again. I just so thank the viewers for submitting some recipes for us, but we have a brand new recipe, asparagus farfarelli. So those Italian lovers, we got a brand new recipe for you. What you're gonna need, get your pen and paper, write this down so you can cook along with us. You're gonna need three cups of bow tie pasta, or the farfarelli, and you're gonna need, gonna need some ground beef, just a pound of ground beef. You're gonna need some fresh asparagus, about a, one pound. Mm -hmm. yep. a couple, I mean, you need olive oil. We're gonna cook that in olive oil. And then just some of the other th stuff that goes in it, you're gonna need some onion and some minced garlic, salt and pepper, and some Parmesan cheese. So I like asparagus. This is gonna be a tasty yeah, dish. It will be, it's something different. Yes, yeah. and our viewer, Sarah ben 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 Bengston, submitted this recipe, so thank you, Sarah. And then we gotta follow that up with an apple tort. So all those apple lovers out there and dessert lovers, write this recipe down. Holly Dewhurst submitted this recipe for us. You're gonna need four eggs, one and a half cups of sugar, a cup of flour, one teaspoon baking powder, a teaspoon cinnamon, a, four, a fourth cup teaspoon of the following soda, nutmeg and salt, two and a half cups of dried apples, and optional, got a half cup nuts there. Okay. And actually it's just diced apples. Diced apples. Probably can't read my writing very well. Well, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, for clarifying. <laughs> and we know we're going to top this, car this, this apple tort with caramel sauce. So for the caramel sauce, you're going to need sugar, brown sugar, cream, butter. What else do you need but other than caramel sauce? So yeah. That's going to be it. awesome. You know. So what are we going to start with out of these two recipes? Okay. Well, I, we're going to start with the apple tart to be able to get that in the oven while we make our... Uh, before we asparagus. make our asparagus... Far for, far for, Bow tie pasta. Yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> now, I've never known it other than bow tie. And right here on the box, it says perfect in its bow tie. And it says that. Farfarelli. Yes. Not quite Italian, but that's the way you want to say it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I did put the oven on at 350. Okay. That's what we're going to bake our apple tort at. Uh, I did put uh, our water's boiling for our noodles. Our bow tie noodles. So we're going to put that in the water while we mix up the tort. Okay. Uh, have a good sized kettle because we're also going to put the asparagus in here and cook that with the noodles also. Okay. So we're going to put, you know, three cups of uh, bow tie noodles in here. Okay. Just stir that up and I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And I'm going to put the timer on for about seven minutes because then we'll go ahead and add our asparagus from there and uh, cook it another about four or five minutes okay. until they're both tender. So come on over here and we're going to start uh, with our apple tort. Very easy to mix up. It uh, asks for four eggs okay. and you're going to, you want to whip the eggs before you, we put in the, the dry ingredients. Okay. And that, so. And, you know, apples are always just a favorite and that. So this is going to be just excellent with that uh, caramel sauce. Absolutely. So we've got them in there and let's just put, beat that up just for a couple of moments there. Okay. And get this set aside. And I did cut up my apples yesterday. And what I did was I put them in a little bit of salt water to keep them from turning brown. Okay. Uh, the recipe calls for a fourth cup, uh, I mean, not a fourth cup, a one fourth teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna eliminate that salt just because, you know, I just uh, soak the apples in a, in a little bit of salt water. It's not a lot, but okay. a fourth teaspoon isn't much. So I'm gonna eliminate that from the recipe just because that's what I did. Okay. You know, so. Okay, we 
beat our eggs here, we're going to put in, um, well, first I'm going to start with one and a half cups sugar. Okay. And then I want to blend that up a little bit before I add the flour. And, you know, I've got one cup of flour here. I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. To this here. Okay. And I'll just put it all in here to make the dry ingredients. Sure. Uh, one teaspoon of, uh, okay, whoop, one teaspoon of cinnamon. In fact, I'm going to put that nutmeg. one back. That one's nutmeg. Because <laughs> a nutmeg, we only need a fourth. But we need a teaspoon of the cinnamon. Yes. So we'll do that. And like I say, you see all my little handy containers because I said many a times I uh, buy my spices and all that in bulk. So now we're going to come here and we're going to do a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And a fourth teaspoon of the nutmeg. All right. And you know, if you'd have screwed up and put about a, put a teaspoon of nutmeg in there, that still wouldn't have hurt that that recipe too much. But we'll go by what we're supposed to do. So. Okay. All right. So we have the sugar and the egg mix. So now we're going to add all our dry ingredients. And I'm going to just blend that there, and that doesn't take too much. So this really mixes very fast. There's not a lot to do, and we're going to spray our 9 by 13 pan. Okay. Oh. I want to just scrape that bowl down a little bit here. And just a couple of more whips in there and be able to pour that in. And then it says to bake at about 45 minutes. Okay, so we're not gonna add the apples in here, we'll bake. Oh, no, we're gonna add the apples okay. right to the batter. All right. And that. Okay. So we'll get this set aside there. And nothing works better than the fingers. Oh. They come before spatulas, you know? <laughs> we're invented. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna add the apples. Okay. And it says two and a half cups of apples. I think I probably, you know, I have three apples, I just cut them, so whatever I have, I'm putting them in here. Okay. You know, it's probably three cups. Um, a half a cup of nuts. Okay. And I'm using walnuts. And what kind of apples did you use, Mom? I had Granny Smith. Okay. You know. And I, that's what you kind of use in a lot of baked apple stuff is that granny smith brand yes it's a little bit crisper uh, tartar apple it is i mean your uh brayburn um apples would be good um you know anything that's not i mean i wouldn't use a delicious apple but but yet i don't think if that's all you had it, it probably would work too so so we're going to put that in the 9 by 13 pan and okay. as you can see it's um it doesn't look like or it didn't sound like we had a lot just because, you know, you just had a cup of flour, that doesn't sound like much. But till you add everything in there, it does make sure a nice. And that's why it says use a 9 by 13 pan. Because we will have plenty there. Okay. I'll set that aside there. Okay. So we'll put that in the oven and get that going here. All right. Oh, so that says 45 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and put that in there, have that for 45 minutes. There was about, like, about two minutes left here for the noodles. Okay, so we're and we have the oven set at 350 degrees, I don't 350. know if we mentioned that. Yes, it's at 350. Okay, okay. so now let's get our brown our hamburger. All right. Put that on there. Oh, I've got my things here for my caramel sauce, but... I better not add the onion and uh, garlic into the caramel sauce. So yeah. We'll, we'll set that aside so I don't forget. <laughs> that just might not be the right flavor we're looking for. I, I would think you're right there. Yeah. So let's get this. 
brown here. Uh, we're gonna cook the hamburger so till it's no longer pink, and then uh, we'll take it out of the pan, and then we're going to put um, the olive oil in there and just saute the onions and uh, the garlic, and then okay. we're gonna be able to put back um, the hamburger in there and add the, some Parmesan cheese, and then we'll be able to put the noodles and uh, the bow tie and asparagus in there, so. All right. And like I said, we <coughs> don't want them real fur. I mean, I mean soft, because they're going to cook another four or five minutes with the asparagus. So that will be about right. Um, I have a pound of asparagus here. I washed and I cut up in about an inch size uh, pieces. Okay. So we're going to add that into the water with the macaroni and cook that for another four or five minutes. So as you can see, you don't want to get your... Um, bow tie noodles too soft before you add your asparagus because you're going for another four or five minutes. And you don't want to cook your asparagus the full time that we're doing the noodles. That's, they that's correct. Okay. Now, we didn't set the timer for our apple tart, did we, for 45 minutes? Um, you pushed it, but I don't know that you hit start. I Apparently I didn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add, put five minutes on there just for the um, asparagus and noodles, and then we'll just add the extra about 38 minutes for the apple tart and okay. stuff. So, um, and the reason I did go, it says four to five minutes, just adding the asparagus, it cools it down a little bit. So probably going to do the five minutes. Okay. That. So let's get, our pan is getting pretty warm, hot here to get the hamburger done. And definitely want to start with some lean hamburger. And I chopped up um, a couple of cloves of garlic, and mm -hmm. it said about a fourth cup of onion. Okay. You know, and again, of course, all those ingredients are flexible to whatever you may like. Again, it's not a dish that's going to take you a long time. And especially when asparagus is in season, it's great to have that. But um, Sarah had also said that, you know, if you... Uh, Asparagus isn't in season and you want to use like frozen peas or beans that oh. works pretty well, too Okay, so you have an alternative if somebody isn't maybe as fond of as asparagus. I would rather Like the uh, peas or beans, you know, you can do that. So okay So let's just get that cooked here a little bit, and then we'll just be back here in a few moments. All right. Okay, our hamburger is about done, and our buzzer's going off for our noodles and the asparagus. Okay. So like we said, we're going to put the timer on again for like about 39 minutes for our, uh, finish our apple tart. So okay. I'll just stir this up here, and then we're going to drain this well. So I've got my colander over here. Okay. And we're gonna just go ahead and drain that. And I better, should put the burner off. Okay. I'll put that burner down for a moment. Okay. So you can stir that while I get this strained. And we'll just set this aside here. Okay, there. And what we're going to do, I've got a bowl over there that we're going to put the hamburger in. Okay. While we saute there. Just. And if your hamburger is a little bit of, uh, greasy, I would definitely drain it. Okay. And that, but this didn't need to be drained. So I'm going to just... There, and I'll wipe that down here. And now we're going to add a couple of tablespoons. It says three tablespoons of olive oil. So we'll just do that magic measuring spoon. Of course. Measurement, right? <laughs> okay. So we're going to turn the burner back on again and get that heated up. And so... We're going to add a couple of cloves of chopped garlic. Okay. 
all that in there. And then we're also going to add that one fourth cup onion. Okay. So you can really smell that garlic just to cook in there. Yeah, just and like you don't want to leave your ingredients, you yeah, don't add your sugar into this yeah, yet. Yeah, that's what we, <laughs> we don't want to do there. So we're going to just, I turn my uh, burner on way low just to saute this okay. a little bit more. And we're going to take our kettle here and we're going to start our caramel sauce. <coughs> so I'm going to put that on low, low heat there. And I'm going to start with um, a stick of butter. Okay. And definitely I would do the butter versus margarine. You know, I think again, when you're, you're cooking, it's just always a better option. It is. You're going to get a better flavor, and uh, butter is still better than margarine. So there, and I got my wire whisk there. Yeah, just go ahead and stir that. And we're going to add our cup of cream. Okay. And I did use the heavier gourmet whipping cream. Okay which definitely we, that just cooks up nicer. And now we're going to add uh, a half a cup of brown sugar. Okay. And also a uh, half a cup of white sugar. Okay. And that's all the ingredients that that is. So this here is almost done there. Just put that way down and we're just want to get this a cook in here. So we're and just going to bring the caramel sauce to a boil we, basically? Right. We're going to bring it to a boil but we're not going to uh, you know boil it too long or that we have to have it to a certain you know uh, temperature stage you know for like when they say you're boiling you should bring it to like a soft crack or just you know mm -hmm. that's more like for candy. This is just to bring that to a boil. Okay. And just keep stirring there. So We'll get those things going. And then it's good to probably let your caramel sauce cool down a little bit before you put it on your apple tart, but um, you know, having it warm will really be, be good. And of course we take that out of the oven and that's gonna be nice and warm and it's like, you Caramels probably, and apples just go together. Absolutely. And I've got a, a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top of this. Wouldn't even hurt. It, yeah, might even help. It, <laughs> if it could make it taste any better, it, it will. Yes. Okay, so let's just get this boiling here. It's already coming to a boil, and I just want to boil that up a little bit, maybe for a minute or so. Okay, that's looking like that's pretty good. So why don't we just set that aside and put that on a hot plate just for a few moments till we have this done. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our hamburger back into there, season a little bit with pepper and salt, and then add our um, oh, bow tie and asparagus in there and, okay. the, and the cheese. Now, are we gonna? Is this something that we get to put in the oven and make it bake it as a casserole, nope. or is it just stays on the stove top and we cook it there? It's we just gonna toss it all in that, and it's gonna be ready from there. All and right, we're done. So that is really an easy, quick one too. You know that just sounds delicious. So we can see that's really coming to a boil now. We'll just do that for maybe a. 30 seconds here and then we'll take that off and set it aside and let that cool. And this here is really pretty much just like all the ingredients you'd put in if you're making caramels. Yes. So you imagine how well uh, good that caramel sauce is going to taste. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to just bring that and set it over here on the counter set that aside. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to add our hamburger to this. Okay. 
and I'm going to season it just a little bit with some salt. I'm probably going to put about a, a half a teaspoon in there. Okay. And about a three-fourths to a teaspoon of pepper. We like pepper, so. And again, it says add pepper and salt to taste. There's not a uh, given amount that you're supposed to be using for that. Okay, so we'll turn that back on here. And just get that mixed up. And Liza, it was nice, you know, starting with a big enough um, kettle here, pan, that uh, now I can add my noodles and uh, asparagus in there. Okay. And you know, have got them well drained. And so we're going to just mix that up here. And you said we get to add some some Parmesan cheese to this, correct? We are. Okay. I'll get this mixed up here. And it says to add um, a half a, you're going to use a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. You're going to just divide it, mix about a fourth of that in with it and blend that. And okay. uh, then we'll just sprinkle the rest of the Parmesan on top. Okay. Okay, and I believe I have that right over here. And there's probably maybe two-thirds cup in here versus a half. But it's just a little extra. I'm not going to put that back in the fridge. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that to it right now. Because, I, you know, the majority of it and then the rest I'm going to sprinkle on there. So let's just mix that up. Okay. It makes a very pretty dish. It is, isn't it? You've got your hamburger, but you know the bow tie in there and uh, the asparagus. You know, that was something that I didn't, ha we didn't really use growing up or making asparagus, but I've learned that I really like it mm -hmm. and stuff. So I have enjoyed cooking with it because like I said, growing up, we didn't have it. Okay, and so that's mixed. I'm going to just turn that burner off because that's plenty hot enough. Okay. And now I'm going to just uh, sprinkle the rest of the Parmesan cheese on top of that. And this is, then it's going to be ready to serve. So now that just did not take us very long at all. No, it? and I, it looks awesome, it, and I'm sure it's going to taste just it's as awesome. It's going to be excellent. So we just want to wait till our tortoise uh, done, and then we can feature them both and uh, dig in. Sounds great. Okay. Let's check to see how, what our apple tort looks like here. So I'll open up that oven. It certainly looks like it's done. So let me get put that on here. The mitt, yes. Oh. Oh. Look at that. that. Smell an apple. Yeah. <laughs> Smell the cinnamon and nutmeg on that for sure. And it's uh, just, a, just a different, I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but it, it, it has like almost like a crust like a pie. It, it does. You know, and it, it's, we, it has the four eggs and of course we whipped those eggs up really, you know, pretty good and that's what it's saying. So we're going to just cut a little piece out of here. Okay. Oh, it smells divine. Okay. So, and of course, we're going to add some caramel sauce on this. And that's still warm. Mm-hmm. So we're going to set that aside. And now let's bring our asparagus, um, pronounce it, farfelli. Farfelli, yes. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have that there. And let's dish this out. All right. So look at how that scrumptious that looks. I'm going to make sure I get the names right and get the people who submitted these recipes correct to us. Okay. Oh, just oh. absolutely that, scrumptious. That looked good. They, this looks awesome. It smells better. I wish our viewers just could sometimes smell what we do. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's utterly awesome. Well, and again, 
I yeah. was just going to say the next best, best thing for them to do is try the recipes at home. The next best thing is to have mom cook it for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for cooking these. And thank you to Holly Dewhurst and Sarah Byington for Thanks submitting. Then. Banks, I'm sorry, sorry, Bankston, for <laughs> submitting these recipes. Please go to Consolidated's website, www.ctctel.com, and get these recipes. Please submit your recipes for us to cook for you as well. As always, thank you to the workshop for being our sponsor. Have a great evening. Bye.